Right. Hello, everyone. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. A little bit miffed. I <laughs> just filmed this entire video and then checked it back. I hadn't completely finished. I am basically, I'm up at the van and I was going to film on the way there and on the way back. And I'm, I was like, right, whilst I've stopped, I'll just double check the content. <laughs> It was focused on the back window, the entire thing, the entire thing, like not one bit of it was in focus because we've had to put the camera up in such a way that the screen was down. So I didn't see that it wasn't in focus because I couldn't see anything. I'm a little bit pissed. I don't know if you can tell. So we're going to try this again. We're going to film the entire drive with me all over again. And it's gonna try, I'm gonna try and make it not feel rehearsed because this very much is rehearsed because it's the second time I've done it. Anyway, <laughs> hello. I, you're getting a, a karma Sarah though because on the way up I was in such a rush because in classic Sarah form, I decided to film a drive with me when I was late. So you're getting a karma Sarah. I've just had to rush up to the park where our holiday let is. If you are new, we own a caravan at a holiday park, if you can see them all in the background. There's still so many cars here and it's annoying me because I was so stressed. So basically, we, hang on, I'm gonna do some disclaimers really, really quickly. I'm aware I look like crap. I'm aware this top doesn't suit me. I'm aware t-shirts up here don't suit me. I don't think this color particularly suits me either. So yeah, I am trying the mic, so if the, audio you don't like it tell me but anyway right let me explain this all over again i've had to rush up to the park because the weather is getting cold again and basically if you own a caravan or like if you're at a caravan if the weather gets below zero i, I think it's if any even if people are in it i'm not entirely sure but if the weather if the temperature gets below zero there is a risk that basically the pipes will freeze and burst the pipes which floods the entire caravan so every time the weather gets cold we have to go up and drain all the pipes in the caravan so that's what i was rushing up to do the reason i had to rush is because it's february and in february our park closes the whole deal with it is basically so people don't live there they close the park through February to like overnight. You can still visit because obviously we own it, we need to have access and it's great for getting stuff done when we can't have guests, but the park closes. So I had to get up before it closes because it closed, well, it's meant to close at half three, which I personally think is a silly time because the majority of people work nine till five. I don't know how other people are doing it. I, silly, thought I would have enough time to train at the gym and then just leisurely get up to the park, but I wasn't feeling very well this morning. I haven't been feeling great the last like month or so. I keep feeling really, really tired and my tummy keeps getting upset. And I had a tummy upset this morning. So I took longer at the gym than I normally do because I was taking it easy. And then we had lunch and then I was like, oh my God, it's three o'clock, I need to go. <laughs> you had me rushing. You had like the footage of me rushing up to the park and I got there at like 32 minutes past, but I was saying they had to let me in because if not, our caravan can flood so the, i haven't i've had no problems though they hadn't shut the gates which is what i was worried about i've been in flushed it there's a little bit of a leak on the stopcock though so i've been into the main office and they're gonna go do down and have a look at it he seems to think it's a really simple fix but he says he'll go look at it because obviously it's the weather it needs sorted before it hits like zero essentially and i think that's meant to happen tonight uh, I think it's meant to hit two degrees tonight, but I don't know if that's like just for today. Like, I don't know if it hits zero, maybe like tomorrow morning or whatever. I'm not entirely sure, but it's sorted. It's done. I didn't get refused <laughs> and it's, in, it's completely drained. The last people that were in, cause we haven't been since we had our last guests, didn't leave at the best of states, which is annoying, but I didn't have time to deal with it. They left the lights on which is like, yeah, fine. But they'd left our heating on permanent, like full blown permanent. And we don't have a, what's it called? Thermostat 
so the the heating will have been on constantly for about a week and a half which is great they'd also left a full bag of rubbish just out on the floor and there's a full bag of rubbish still in there that absolutely stinks and i have left it uh jack's not happy but i was saying if it's split i don't have time to clean that up i'd rather just leave it in the bin and we'll deal with it next time we go up because it's february we will be going up soon i am um, there will be hedge hope content coming soon i know a lot of people have been asking for a hedge hope update but i'm a little bit i don't know what to include in that update because if it's an update in terms of just whether we're selling or not we're still at the same point we don't know yet so if that's all people are interested in i can't fill a full video on that but if people are wanting more like more in depth update please let me know what you want to see in that update because i i'm not entirely sure what to put in there someone did leave a really useful comment and say that they would like to see a tour of the park which i can do easy someone asked for a day in the life but we are never up there for a day so i can't really do a day in the life the longest we're normally up there for is like a clean which is like two three hours there is going to be a video either this month or next month because we are going to do a deep clean because we're closed in february we're going to do we did this last year as well if you've been around since then you might remember but i'm going to film it again and this year we are trying to like hire a carpet cleaner like the full-on washing machine things i can't remember what else we're going to do but it's going to be a full-blown deep clean so there is hedge hope, hedge hope content coming soon but if you want an update video i need to know what you want updated on i'm trying to think of the things that i was talking about on the way up here oh that was it housekeeping messages a little bit uh i am um, one i want to say sorry for my sporadity in uploads at the minute i've missed a few sundays which i'm not happy about i don't like to do but i just I, like i said i haven't been feeling great this last month i've been feeling incredibly tired like so so tired some days and i just can't film and i also the thing is with the whole what is rattling with the whole trying to like improve my content and make my content better i can't really just film through the tiredness anymore because it's so boring like when i'm tired i was going to film the other day when jack was at work and do like a solo home vlog like i've done before but i was so tired that day i was like i'm not i'm not going to do anything so i can't make it like aesthetic I can't do like cute cinematography bits because I'm literally going to sit on the set and do nothing. So when I'm tired, it's hard to just push. Well, I can't just push through it with my autism, but I apologize that that means there has been less videos. I am going to try and get back on top, top of it. I'm also going to try and get back on top of shorts because I had a really good week that first week of January where I posted like a short a day for a week. And I think a lot of you found me through that. So thank you very much if you followed me through those shorts but i'm going to try and get back on top of them i'm going to try and get out of this tiredness the other housekeeping thing message was just to say again a huge thank you for everybody who sent a message in for the q a that is by far the best turnout i have had for a q a ever like i've never had that many questions before and honestly i know i said it in the video but it just meant the world i i, I can't I can't believe how many questions I had and I know I have like 3,000 subscribers but the views that I get on my video actually tends to be around like 150 to 200 so that's really the amount of people that are watching my videos regularly so sometimes it can feel quite disheartening being like oh well I have a small amount of subscribers and then actually even a smaller amount of people are watching people don't actually care but then when I had that many questions I was like oh my god people actually do care and are actually watching so it just meant the world i had a few questions come through after i'd filmed the video on ngl so if i didn't get around to your question i am sorry i'm going to put them on my story though so and i'm going to do that tonight like when this video goes live it's thursday so if you're watching this when this goes up go look on my instagram story because i'll answer them there one of those was though somebody a few days after i asked people for questions used that link to send me a message saying the questions that you've used for your Q&A are so obviously you, it's desperate. Babe, <laughs> I think I've made it very, very obvious in the past 
that if I don't get enough questions for a Q&A, I just won't do the Q&A. I don't ask myself questions. But there have been numerous times in the last year, two, three year, where I've asked people for questions for a Q&A and then I've just not had enough questions. So then I just don't do the Q&A. I don't see any value in asking myself questions because if people aren't asking the questions, they're not gonna be watching the video, most likely. So why would I do that? It wouldn't make any sense. So no, I haven't been asking myself questions. And also, if you are here, I think you'll find you're the desperate one because why you hate watching my videos? Like, why are you doing it? And why are you bothering with me, telling me I'm desperate? It's ridiculous. If you don't like me, stop watching my videos and don't follow me and just leave me alone. I don't understand why you would hate watch someone. I feel like it's completely pointless and a waste of everyone's time. And you're the one who seems desperate trying to get my attention, sending me that message. So just leave. Anyway, I am gonna put that on my Instagram stories as well, in case they aren't ha hate watching and they just hate following on my Instagram instead. So if you think it's recycled content, it is, but I've been trying to figure out what to say in the comment for like two days. <laughs> but thank you to everyone who sent lovely questions. That is the best, like the most positive Q&A that I've had in a while. Like that one, that was the only mean comment that I had come through. Whereas in the last few ones, people have been a little bit mean to me in them. So it was overall positive. I'm really happy with it. I also, in that record, just started talking about burnout. I'm giving you a little bit of an update on burnout because the last drive with me that I did was when I was like in full-blown burnout. So I thought I'd update you on how I'm feeling a little bit about it. I am going to insert a cl the clip of what I was talking about in the other one because I've, I feel like I put it very clearly the way I wanted to in that one i'm sorry for it being out of focus use me as a podcast if it's annoying you <laughs> like just don't watch me but i just feel like i articulated it well in that one compared to now and i also feel like it will help with the timings of things <laughs> i think the last drive with me i did that wasn't a christmas one was when i was in burnout last year and i feel like i'm in such a better place let's talk about burnout for a little bit actually because we haven't really chatted about it if you are new i went into autistic burnout in april last year it might have been march it, march april last year and it completely floored me like completely floored me i wasn't well i think it had to do with a lot of different things but we'll not chat about that now and just to highlight as well like because i know i have a mix of autistic people and non-autistic people on the channel which i'm very very grateful for and just to highlight autistic burnout is very very different to usual burnout or neurotypical burnout in the fact that it isn't something that's easily solved and it takes months and even like a year or years to get out of autistic burnout it's very very difficult my burnout manifested in the way of i cried all the time everything made me cry i was very very pessimistic about everything i didn't want to leave the house that's still something that's lingering but i didn't want to leave the house i've just felt very very negative about everything uh my adhd just went off the charts i couldn't get anything done i just had choice paralysis for the majority of last year <laughs> not even choice paralysis just like paralysis where i just sat there and i think i would like to tell you this is what helped with burnout and this is what got me out of it but i don't think it's as simple as that i think it's literally just time and prioritizing recovery over everything else which is easier said than done and obviously i'm in a very privileged position where i work from home and i choose my hours and i can drop hours and uploads if i need to which i did last year and i think that did wonders for me having a break and just having some time off essentially but i do feel like i'm out of the i'm i'm, I'm out of the main part of it now i still feel like there's some stuff that is lingering in terms of i don't want to leave the house i Feel like i haven't got my enthusiasm back for a lot of stuff in terms of like going out with oakley that isn't something that is interesting to me whatsoever at the minute please don't worry for him he is being looked after jack has very much took on the role of dealing with oakley and just caring for him like we both care for him in the house but in terms of walks outside jack has very much took that on which i am very very grateful for but that doesn't interest me at all at the minute i I'm still feeling very, very pessimistic about other people. I don't want to deal with other people very much at all at the minute. My emotional regulation from my ADHD side is still 
spicy. <laughs> I'm getting very, very angry very, very quickly and I'm struggling to control that, which is emotional dysregulation. So it's just something that I have to deal with, but I am feeling happier. I'm not crying anywhere near as much. I'm feeling optimistic for certain stuff. Like I'm feeling very optimistic with, well, with YouTube, it goes up and down, <laughs> but with friends and stuff, I really do think, and I know this is such a, a shitty thing to say, but having friends has really, really considerably helped me in getting out of burnout because it was one of the main things that got me into burnout. One of the main, if you've been around for, since before April, you will know, because I used to talk about this a lot, but not having friends was the main source of my unhappiness last like before april last year i would cry nearly like a minimum once a week about not having any friends just not having anyone to do any with anything with and i have been so lucky to have found those last year and just having i knew this would happen this is why i used to get so upset about not having friends was because i knew that if i had friends i'd be so much happier in my life and it has happened <laughs> i am so much happier and I love them all like they're, they're beautiful people and I know that probably sounds like awful for people who are going through the same thing at the minute where they don't have friends and they know that it's causing a detrimental point to their life but I would honestly say just keep trying so Ellie who is like the point of like contact in terms of how I got into the friendship group ellie was a friend of a friend that we were messaging each other on instagram like we weren't messaging messaging each other but we were like replying to each other's stories and then one day she put on a story about having a nice relationship with her sister and i replied to that like a proper message rather than just like love heart eyes or whatever and then we were just i was she was just like should we meet up and then i was like yeah that would be great and that happened and then Ellie introduced me to her boyfriend Tom and then they introduced us to Alex and Soph and that's kind of the little friendship group that we have and now we have like Jess who's a friendship group friend of Ellie who we sometimes go out with and stuff so it was one of those things where it was just organic and I would just say keep trying if you have someone you feel like you're gonna get along with just keep keep communication open with them. I am gonna pause this little rant because I am just coming up to the park and I'm just worried the gates are gonna be shut because that's what they do. So it's 32 minutes past. Anyway, back to real time. So yeah, with Ellie, it was really organic, but I definitely, because obviously I've mentioned I used Bumble BFF when I was still trying to find some friends. I wouldn't say give up on those things because I know a lot of people have been, have found a lot of success with Bumble BFF. And just because it didn't work for me doesn't mean it doesn't work, it won't work for you. And I've actually went back on Bumble BFF recently to try and find some more local friends because Ellie, like all of my friends live in Newcastle. And even though Newcastle is quite close to us, it's still a bit of a slog for us to have to go through in Newcastle. like every week and i'd love to have some friends who just live a little bit more local so i don't hate bumble like i'm not saying it doesn't work at all definitely keep giving it a try but with ellie with the success i had of finding friendship it was organic and i'd honestly just say if you are at any events because i know with some people you there are literally like there are no friends so, but if you do have like some events that you go to like you've got friends who you see them at their birthday but nothing else if you meet somebody at an event like that or at the gym ask them for their socials not straight away but don't feel scared to ask them for their socials because if i hadn't followed ellie i don't think i asked ellie for a social i think it was just that i saw ellie was tagged in that friend's story don't be scared to follow them i feel like there's this thing of being like oh following people's a bit weird but that's what social media is for. And if you can make a prop, like a proper connection from it, it's worth it. I don't know. And if they find it weird that you follow, follow them, they're not for you anyway. Just don't be scared to follow people, to message people, because that's the way you're going to find them. And if you're braver than me, try some like groups doing something. Like if you're autistic, find a local autism group if you've got one in your area. The ones in my area are horrific. Not they're horrific in terms of like they're bad, but just there isn't really anything. It's all for parents of autistic children or families of autistic children. But if your area has got a local autism group, 
try that or if you're into painting try that or just try some groups i know some people who've had like such success in things like that but just don't give up don't give up and don't don't take it as something that's wrong with you because that's what I used to do constantly. And people would say this to me, like I get I get that you're not going to listen to me. I get it. But hopefully the more people that say it to you, the more chance you'll listen. But people used to say it to me being like, it's not you, like Jack used to say it to me. It's not you, That it's not your personality is the reason you don't have friends. It's it's probably not. If you if you really take a look at yourself and make sure you're not toxic because you might be toxic. If you are, work on that. But if you're not toxic, there are people out there for you. And I fully believe there is someone out there for everybody and it's just finding them. So don't sit there and be like, there's something wrong with me. This is why I haven't got any friends. I f and I get you're gonna feel like crap because of it, but just please try and take it as it's not you because I did, but then I found friends who I think like me. <laughs> so it's obviously not my personality. It's just trying to find them is really, really hard and I get it. And I think as well, because we have these weird societal norms where people feel awkward going to things like social group classes. What's the word for that? I can't think of the word, but things like, I don't know, an art class or, a, I, don't, I don't know. But people feel awkward about going to them. So then, everyone feels awkward about going to them so then people don't go to them but the people who do go to them don't find the people who actually want to be there because they're awkward about being there and i hope you got my message through that terrible wording but because we have that it does make it more difficult and again that makes it it's not about you it's just about societal norms are freaking weird and especially if you're in the uk a lot of stuff is oriented around drinking and you don't tend to drink with strangers so you don't have stuff set up for strangers to meet so it is really freaking hard and just don't take it personally but i do think that's one of the things that's really really helped me this past year in becoming and feeling more like myself again i'm just so grateful to have those people in my life and that they actually want to be my friend as well and i feel so lucky that i had those connections there like i love alex and soph and i wouldn't have met alex and soph without ellie so i think I'm just so grateful that it happened and I don't know what would have happened with me if I hadn't have found some friends because it has really helped so if you're in a similar position just keep trying that's my message just keep trying I'm nearly home I'm hoping with that um inserted out of focus clip and the bit at the beginning that this is a good length video I did go the long way home to get some extra time in so fingers crossed it is a good length video I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to leave it a like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, share, all the good stuff. I'm just blurring it all into one now. If you like, if you want me to do more drive with me's, let me know, because I really enjoy doing them. I just worry people get bored of them because it is literally just me chatting for half an hour. Anyway, even if you don't do all those things that I asked for before, thank you for making it to the end. And I shall see you in another video. Bye.